<laughs> Welcome back to Redhead Reviews with me, Gavin Burma. Today on Redhead Reviews, we have to talk a little quieter about everything because everyone around me is asleep. Today we are discussing the play for colored girls who have considered suicide when rainbow is enough. It is a play written by Natozak Shanje, not sure if I'm saying that correctly, in 1976 and was originally performed in a woman's bar outside of Berkeley, California. It is Shanje's most critically acclaimed piece of writing. The lead characters have no names. The characters are based on the various colors of the rainbow, such as red, orange, yellow, you know, Roy G. Biv, instead of having actual names. Each color or colors deals with a certain problem or problems that black women face every day, such as abortion and rape. It shows us how the intersectionality of gender, sex, and race collide by having characters that are both black, gay, and female versus characters that are black, female, and straight, and the difference between the two. The piece was kind of all over the place, but that's just the style. It was a very unique message by showing all the different struggles and didn't really tie them all together right away. The idea of women being colors rather than names resonated with me because it allowed you to put yourself in their shoes rather than if they had a name themselves. I think getting to see all the different perspectives of black women makes it well worth the read. These types of plays are important to read and watch because they give us a new worldview we otherwise wouldn't have. Well, today was a very short, sweet review. I hope you all enjoyed. That's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching Redhead Reviews.